what happened? I'm on Facebook. There we are. Okay. We're streaming over there now. I just have to turn the volume off there. Make that big so I can see both things at the same time. Confusing. Oh, yes. I don't know how you do it, Glenda. Sometimes I wonder too. <laughs> mm. Oh God. So, oh, Pat's over there. Pat's Hi, somewhere. Hi everybody. Hello. Oh, there's Pat. Oh, and Carolyn and Marilyn. Woohoo. And Connie's watching on Facebook. Hello, Connie. Cool. Mm. Okay, so tonight we're going to make some cards and we're going to use a lot of designer paper. Because I don't know about you, but I have stacks of it that needs to be used. Okay. Let's go. Card number one. If I can get my lighting so it doesn't. I'm even doing envelopes tonight because this is that dandy designs designer paper that retires in two days. So might as well use it. <laughs> Hello, Valerie. Okay, so I'm using the beautiful. No, that's not it. Hang on, that belongs to that card. Sentimental Park dies for the flowers. And really, I was organized. Nope. That's that um, stylish shapes, right? Nope. It is this one. Beautiful shapes. The beautiful shapes dies. Now there's whatever you use, that's just for the sentiment. So it doesn't really matter what you use for the sentiment. And it doesn't really matter what you use for the flowers. Use whatever you have. Because this is the class where we use what we have and we come out with beautiful cards. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I made a template. So if you want to make a template, this one is, I made templates for all of the cards tonight because not only am I starting a fun fold template box, but I'm starting a designer paper layout template box. Yeah, I'm gonna have templates everywhere. So the card base is eight and a half by five and a half. So that's the, this one I'm using Mango Melody. But this one, I did 11 by four and a quarter, just so I can show you that you can do it either way. So there's the eight and a half by five and a half. Then basic white cardstock for the front, five and a quarter by four, and one piece for the inside, five and a quarter by four. Hello, Peggy. Then the DSP is six inches by three inches. So this is the three and then the six, you can see underneath there, I cut out a piece that is three by three and then you've got three inches left. So then I cut that in half and got an inch and a half. That way you use the whole three inch strip. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Yes. So that's the that's the basic template for this. And then there's a piece of cardstock that goes behind here. If you want it, that's three and an eighth by three and an eighth. I did not use that on this one. 
but I did add a, a little strip of shimmer paper, fine shimmer paper there. And then the rest is all about the decorating. I even put a piece of the designer paper inside and made the envelope out of it. Okay. So I'm using Mango Melody. And so you have a piece of designer paper. You want to cut it to six by three. Get myself organized here while you do that. Hello, Sharon and Dimity and Tanya. Ooh, hi. Look at all the people we have joining us tonight. That's awesome. Okay, got it cut? Yep. Okay, so now if you've got one that has a definite continuing pattern, then you're going to want to cut it in a row. You know what I mean? There, that goes there. So if you have a, a designer paper that has like stripes or it has a leaf pattern or something, then you want to cut off an inch and a half on each side. If you have a pattern that is like mine, that it doesn't really matter, then cut three inches and then cut the leftover three inches in half again. You want to end up with one piece that's three by three and two pieces that are three by one eighth. Hi, Lynn, over there watching on Facebook. Thanks for joining. I'm not going to flip the two small pieces. I am, Connie, you're right. Well, you can. You don't have to. You can, like when I used, did my template, I used the same pattern, but then I framed it with something. Hi, Marlene. So you can do that or you can do this, which is what Connie was reminding me about. If you like both sides of your designer paper, then you can flip it, which is what I did on this one. Okay, so when you get those done, put those off to the side. And the one that's on the front, I am going to emboss and I'm using the new one of the new embossing folders that will release on the 1st of March. There's three of them. They're called basics. Let me get the other two so you can see them. So there's there's three of them. Oops, that's not it. So there is one that's basics and it's a floral pattern. And then there's one, it's basics and it's dots and they're big dots. This reminds me of a chenille bedspread for some reason. Mm. And then there's the cross, I call this a cross hatch. So those are the three that, and you can only get them in a bundle of three. Don't know why, but that's the way they're selling them. So I'm going to run that through and emboss it. 
go, Glenda, can I just ask one question? You know that sure. shimmery put behind the three by three? Can you yeah. tell what size it is? Is it like three and a quarter or three and an eighth? What is it? It's three inches by about a half an inch. Oh, okay. So you put it on each side then? No, I just put it on one side. Oh, just on one side? Okay. Just on one side, because my flower is going to cover up the other side anyways. Okay. Did I say hi to Marlene? I don't remember. If I did, I'm sorry I have to duplicate it, but hello, Marlene. Some days the brain work just does not work. Okay, so that's going to go on there. And these are going to go on here. Like that. And then that one bands in between. Hmm. Apparently I didn't cut this. And then I do have a strip of shimmer paper. I'm going to use the gold this time to pop in there. Okay, so when you have all that done, then just stick that off to the side. Okay, so now I am going to do the decorating part. So this is where you will just use whatever you have. I'm going to stamp my sentiment first. And that's all the stamping that is happening on my card. That little tiny bit. So all of this is done right on the card base? No. All of what? Like putting the, the six by three, that DSP that we've cut, putting that, is that going on the card base? Well, it's going on the piece I embossed and then onto the card base. Okay. Right, so I but I haven't done any of that yet. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to cut that out and then I have to cut out some flowers. And I've got some designer paper cut out and I'm going to do some, cut the stem and the flower parts out. So I've put um, adhesive sheet on there. So I'm gonna cut that out of that. And then I want, Three flowers. I think I'm going to use this one.
So is everybody snowed in today? No. Nope. Well, that's good. Yeah. We, well, had, we had quite a bit of snow, but we weren't snowed in. The plows plowed well, and I was happy. We're not snowed in. We're rained in. Are you, Dimity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of unusual for you to have snow at this time of the year. We don't Ooh. have snow at all. We never have snow. You never have snow? Ah. We've only got two seasons, the wet and the dry. Oh, dear. And it's wet season now. Oh. Glenda, I, I'm i um, Central Vancouver Island, and we were supposed to get it, but we didn't. You didn't get it at all? Hardly anything. Well, that's good, because you guys got whacked the last time. Yeah. Where, where are you in Central Vancouver Island? Uh, and then I'm up. Oh, I'm in Courtney and we got it. We didn't yeah. get it today, but we sure got it today, last night, overnight. It didn't seem to really, we got a bit yesterday, but it was not nearly like what they said it was going to be. Well, we didn't, it didn't even stick to the ground yesterday. Yeah. I just hope it's gone by Wednesday. Oh, it yeah. should be. Hopefully. <laughs> Because apparently Tofino had almost, well, somewhere around two feet. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I know. Like, okay, you can have it now, but in three days when I want to be there, it better not be there anymore. <laughs> yeah. had a friend that kept sending me pictures. Well, you probably saw them, but well, you might have saw. No, it was, I think it was in our team thing. She shared it. Um, she shared pictures of, De of Tofino, her yard. They had to go out and take all the snow off of the rhododendrons because the rhododendrons were all caving in. There was trees down on the road. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got, they got wet with it. And of course, they have one plow truck out there to do the whole West Coast. Mm. And with the tree down across the road, there was no way he could get where he needed to go. <laughs> hey, gosh. Uh oh. What is going on? So sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My phone just hung up oh hang on that's why it's stuck oh thanks kathy 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 said she'll keep her fingers crossed for us i don't care what it does once we get out there and i don't care if it if we can't come back <laughs> okay i do because i need to go see my other grandchildren when we get back but there we go i don't know why it hung up so my apologies yes my phone hung up on me so as long as we can get out there we'll be out there 10 days so theoretically in 10 days everything will be much better, right? No, oh, yeah, absolutely. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. Ew. My kids are coming from Kelowna for a week. So I'm uh -huh. hoping half decent weather too. 
Yeah, I don't really care what the weather does once we get out there. Because we have we have clothes for four seasons in our trailers. So <laughs> I got everything from flip flops to Arctic pants. Mm -hmm, yeah. You'll need them if it gets cold. And especially if you're near the water and it gets cold, that's even worse. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's fun. And we go out there to have fun. So. so what set are you using for this one? These dyes are the so Sentimental Park dyes. Mm. Mm. But you can use anything to decorate it because it's the it's the layout that's the important part, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Or I should be saying you need to order these sentimental park dies. I'm going maybe the sentimental ones, but Terry's got the other ones, so I don't really need to get those. I'll just go over there and borrow them. <laughs> we kind of do a lot of that. <laughs> Yep. Oh, speaking of which, I'll have to make myself a note because I forgot to do something today. Hang on. Okay. Trying to get everything done for a whole month in advance is really taxing my poor brain. That would. Okay. Is everybody ready to assemble or are you still working on your bits? I'm still trying that that's going to work. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just trying to find my die that I want, but I can't find it. So I will continue without it and finish <laughs> it when I cut the, the hello out. Aha. Uh -huh. It'll be right here. I know it's right here. Yep. And the minute you don't need it, that's when you'll find it. That's cool. right. Yeah. Today I opened my air and habitat and I lost one of my birds and I had it like Five minutes before, I had my husband up here searching for it. I searched for it. You know where it was? Underneath my garbage can. Oh, oh gosh. I know. How'd it get there? No. Okay. So I'm going to put the two outside designer paper pieces on first. And if you're like me and you need to center them and you need to do it using your grid paper, yay. I just realized I have the sentiment, the centimeter part up. How am I supposed to do that? Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Okay. So these are all laying flat then? They're all laying flat. The only thing that's popped up on the card, I popped my flowers and I popped half of the sentiment. The top part of the sentiment is popped. That's what I did. Okay. Now, get this lined up. There we go. So those two are down. Then I'm going to attach the shimmer paper to one side of my three by three. Well, that would be crooked. Let's just make it straight. 
Holy man. There we are. Oh, this is so good. Well, you guys over there on Facebook, are you creating or are you just watching? Because you know, at the end of this, I'm going to need everybody to post pictures of their cards. If the ones here I can see and we can share, but the ones over there on Facebook, you're going to have to show us your cards somehow. There we are. So there's what I did. Connie's watching. Oh. Marlene is watching. You guys are just saying you're watching now because I said you had to share your cards. I'm still cutting out my flower. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to get them all done, but I'm going to try my best. That's all. That's all you can do. Yep. All right. At least I have an idea of what it's supposed to look like. So. Lori is watching from a bubble bath. Oh. And now I'm jealous. Bonnie will create later. Marlene says, yep, <laughs> which means she's creating and not admitting it. Mm -hmm. Kathy was finishing a late dinner and Valerie is watching because she's been busy with last minute removal of stuff in my room. The wall will, <gasps> ooh, Valerie is having a, a renovation in her craft room and she they're tearing down a wall and making her room bigger. So. I'm jealous of the person in the bubble bath and the person that's getting a craft room makeover. Okay, now I'm gonna put this here, but I discovered when I was making this card that I don't like how long this is in here. So I cut it. I cut it and made it shorter. So we'll put this one on. Excuse me. Oh, Lori said she was painting her living room, so she deserves a bubble bath. <laughs> Good for you. You're not the first one that has watched me from a bubble bath. When I have bubble baths, I usually fall asleep. which is usually not good when you, well, when you're my size though, my feet just reach the end of the bathtub when my back is up on the back of the bathtub. So there's no way I can fall because I'm anchored. And my well, family always used to laugh at me. If I get in the tub, I can't get out of the tub. So I cannot have a bath. Oh, well. Oh dear. What happens when you get old? That's why I'm not. Yeah, right. I, that's what I said for many, many. I'm still not getting old. My body thinks it is, but I'm not. Yep. Okay. Well, I tell you. <laughs> okay. straight now if i get up and run out in a couple of hours time if i disappear i've gone to pick up the grandchildren from school ah <laughs> well hopefully we won't be still here in a couple hours time hopefully it'll all be over by then yeah, we're now in a half just being told <laughs> how's your hubby doing dimity oh he's good he's good oh good Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Now, which part of Australia are you in? The Northern Territory. So we're up the top in the 
in the middle, sort of in the middle, but up the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, a hot, humid climate. So we're not um, like Sydney, which has four climates. Yeah. We only have the two. Uh -huh. Well, I've never been to Australia. It's on my list. I keep hoping that Stamping Up is going to have one of their incentive trips there or, or one of the um, conventions. So I would have an excuse to go there. Yeah, but I didn't make it when they had it in Sydney. So, oh, but I've had a, I've had a pen pal in Australia since 1971. Okay, I, I went to Sydney. Uh huh. And that was good. Oh, I wish. Our son used to work on a cruise ship out of Sydney. Hi. Right. Okay. So I got my front done. Okay. Puppies. Hmm. 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 I'm looking now for a small oh, thank you. Does anybody have any idea where I can find one that's gonna fit on that little rectangle? If not, I'm gonna have to change it. Yeah, on my craft table. Yeah, I know, but that will help too, there, Glenda. <laughs> Lori's dreaming of a soaker tub. Yeah, don't, Lori. I'll tell you a little story about a soaker tub. When we were in our other house here in town, I was so excited when we bought it because it had a huge soaker tub in it. Until I realized it took almost three tanks of hot water to fill. So <laughs> I would start it filling with only hot, hot water and then I would go vacuum my house. Then I'd go back, turn it off, wait for the hot water to heat up again. Thankfully it was gas, so it, it was quite quick. And then I'd turn it on and I'd let another tank of hot water go in there and I'd go and finish vacuuming the house. Oh my gosh. Then I'd go back in and turn it off when it got cold. And then I'd get in it with the third one running in until it got to the, the height that I wanted. So yeah, soaker tubs, tubs are not everything they are cracked up to be unless you have an on-demand hot water system. Well, thank you, ladies. Yeah, it's um, it's a, a really nice way to use designer paper. And then you use it to make your envelope too. Oh, darn you. So I've given you guys the measurements for this envelope before, but I'll do it again. You cut designer paper to six by 12. Mm -hmm. Then you score it on each long side at three quarters of an inch. Now I changed that a bit because sometimes I like to send them in our clear envelopes. And if you cut it, if you score it at three quarters of an inch on each side, it's an eighth of an inch too wide to go in those plastic envelopes. So one side I score at seven eighths and one side I score at three quarters. And then you flip it and you score it at four and a quarter and 10. Then you cut off all these pieces. Now I did not come up with this. This was shared by Sarah Douglas, the CEO about what, two and a half years ago now? It was after COVID started. When she started doing all her live presentations. What were those measurements again, Glenda? For, for, the, the, for the envelope? For the scoring. So you cut both ends between or on each side of the scoring, right? 
you score three quarters of an inch on both sides. Yeah. Then you flip it. Yeah. And you score it at four and a quarter and 10. Yes. But once you're then away, you cut off each end, each end down to the score line and then miter your corners. And then you flip it and you cut that part too. Well, what was the bit about something about seven eighths? You said it didn't fit in the envelope. Yeah, if you want to put it in a clear envelope, then instead of making it three quarters of an inch on both sides, you make it seven eighths on one side and three quarters on the other side. It still fits your card, but now it will fit inside one of those plastic envelopes. Okay, thanks. Welcome. And then you put adhesive here. Don't put adhesive on this part because this doesn't go right to the top. So you want to put it on here. So when you close it, it seals itself shut. Like that. And there I have a free envelope. Because this was free designer paper. That's right. Mm. And I'm going to finish it off with some classic matte dots. These come in black, gray, vanilla, and white. And they're glossy. And I'm going to add a couple of resin flower shapes because I have them and I might as well use them. So now I just have to decide if I want the yellow one or the Calypso coral ones. I think the coral ones. Oh, perfect. There we are. I just about put the thank you stamp on the back of my card. That would have been a little blonde. On the inside, how long a strip did you put on the white? It's like what five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter? Yeah. Oh, I know. I realized that. I meant how wide. <laughs> oh, how wide? Um, hang on. I will let you know. I don't know. It was something I had left over. Looks like half an inch. Nope. Three quarters of an inch. Three quarters? Yep. Oh, hi, Marsha. How's everybody doing? Yep, okay. Yay! I'm being a bit of a rebel though because I've, I've changed it. <laughs> Good for you. Rebels are welcome. <laughs> Mm. 
And you didn't use any weak Costella? I did not. I know, it's weird, eh? Well, that glimmer paper, I think, covers it, though. <laughs> okay, we'll use that as an excuse. <laughs> All right, now, inside. I was fussy cutting the last sheet of favored flowers designer paper today. I made five more cards and cut up the rest for envelopes. So that package is gone. Oh, it must be nice. <laughs> Gotta I get it been... out. There's new stuff coming. I know. I've got so much paper here. It isn't even funny. You got to use it. Yeah, I just need a way to use it. And thank you for this uh, helping me to find a way to use it. <laughs> yeah. I did. I found another way to another fun fold using six by six. And you use the whole sheet. Mm. Awesome. Okay. I need some flowers or something. Or something. I can't use that. Oh, where's my Is anybody done? I, I just need to put my little things on, my little uh oh, yes, I haven't put those on either. Because I'm gonna want to see them, you know. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. -uh. You get highlighted and I get to see your cards. Hang on, Donna. I see you. Hang on. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Oh, nice. There. That's cool. Thank you. Here's my different. <laughs> Just hang on, Julie. I'm coming. Okay. Oh, pretty. that's sweet. Nice. That's pretty. Lovely. Yeah. It was I have my front done. It was okay. I had in my um in my scraps they were totally different oh i know oh that. i like that. that nice oh, oh that's, that's the new paper or like from irresistible blooms yeah yeah i couldn't find flowers at the that's like i have so many but i couldn't find any <laughs> <laughs> okay Mine janet is Oh, lovely. Very nice. Oh, two tone behind floral. it. Pretty. And very old DSP. That's okay. Okay, who's next on my hit left? Holly? Yep. Down a bit. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's some retro like stuff in there. Wow. Uh, yes. And. <laughs> <laughs> Pat? I didn't get the right paper, so. Oh, that's okay. Hold it up just a tad. Yeah. We can't see the bottom. Oh, that's lovely. I did it. Oh, very nice. Is Good that for the you? Phone <laughs> one? What, Carolyn? <laughs> yeah, it's not done yet. I need to put a flower on. Oh, that would be very nice, though. Oh, lovely. I love that designer paper. Marilyn, are you going to turn your camera on and show us your card? When I joined, I put join video and it didn't come up. So I don't have oh. a video. Oh, sorry. Well, that sucks. But I'm well, enjoying watching you and, and seeing what you have. <laughs> Dimity, is yours done? I'm just putting two tops on and you, I can show you. I was going to put okay. pearls on, but since I can't find the pearls, which I know are in that box. <laughs> They're somewhere, eh? Oh, yeah. Tanya, or can you put your video on and show us your card? No, I haven't made it and I'm not putting my video on because I'm a mess. 
<laughs> well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay, Jiminy. I haven't put the sentiment on it. I can't find the, the die. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I nice I might find it. I'll have it for the other three of them. So. I love but, that paper. Yeah, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? And Terry, so are you going to share your card? No. Sharon, <laughs> what about, did you make one? No. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing with your cards with us. They're lovely. Now we'll make another one. Right. Just watching right now. I got Trin trying to get her to bed. Okay. Okay, so I'm using Orchid Oasis and here's the card. Hmm. Lots of bling on this one. Is this the one with lots of pieces in it? Is this card number two? This is card number two, yes. I can't remember if, but which order though, are in now? Let me get the recipe. So there's a lot of designer paper pieces because I'm using a lot because the flowers and I did the flowers out of the designer paper again. So you need a card base that's eight and a half by five and a half, your typical card base. Yep. Then cardstock that is five and a half by two and a half and five and a half by one. And then a strip of designer paper that's five and a half by two and a quarter. Okay, I'll find that. I've got, I've got, I know I've got it here somewhere. <laughs> so I this is what I did on, on the inside. I used another strip of designer paper that was five and a half. Five and a quarter by one and a half. I cut out a bunch of the flowers. First of all, I put adhesive sheet on the back of this section. Then I cut out a bunch of the flowers, put the designer paper behind, and put the flowers back in their holes again. And, and then what, I cut. Go ahead. What stamp set are you using for those flowers? Mm -hmm. um, I'm using the the same dies, the Sentimental Park dies. Park. and uh -huh. then that's what i did with the envelope i scallop another piece that is four and a half by one and a quarter and i'm using the scallop contour dies mm -hmm. i got those but if you don't have those any of the border dies will work Thanks. Marcia says, all of your cards are gorgeous. Now score dies. Okay, so I'm using Bombay Blue this time. And I have five and a quarter by four on the inside that I didn't put adhesive sheet on, so I have to do that. I don't know if mine's conducive to that uh, card. And my front is going to look like that. And I'm going to cut flowers out of designer paper. I'm going to cut the stem out of designer paper. And then I have the inside piece and the envelope piece. And then this is for the flowers and i've also cut out the little tiny flowers and put them on here from the dies as well mm -hmm. okay so you're going to cut each of these with whatever um edge you have Okay, cut that and 
don't cut this. So what piece is in the middle? It is, it is, hang on, five and a half by two and a quarter. Okay, so this one. And the other two little ones are being cut for flowers? One's for the inside, one's for the envelope. Oh. And then this one is with for flowers because I have adhesive sheet on the back of it. No, oh, I only have three pieces. Are we supposed to have four? Depends on whether you're going to put your put it on your envelope or not. Oh, okay. Glenda. Yes. Are these available to watch again later? Yes. It is streaming to my VIP page, and I will be uploading it to YouTube. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I actually follow your YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. Sometimes I sneak things on there, and I don't tell anybody that it's there. Oh, well, so I, um, if you subscribe, you know, it's there. Yeah, I do subscribe, but I subscribe to your blog, too. Oh, well, I get you. email updates. Yeah, the ones that that I do on Thursday nights in my VIP group. When I do all the fancy folds and stuff, I don't I upload them to YouTube and I make them public, but I don't say anywhere that they're on my YouTube channel. Ah. It's kind of a, if you're a subscriber, you'll know they're there. If you are part of my VIP group, you'll know they're there. But other than that, you won't know. Hmm. Okay, now the one for the envelope is this one. And And I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Trying to figure out the one that you just scalloped of the designer paper was the yeah. large. It's the one that is four and a half by one and a quarter. It's for the envelope. Oh, I don't have that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
How are we doing? I'm still trying to find a flower. <laughs> this is no fun. <laughs> oh dear. Well, the good thing is that you don't really have to finish the cards oh. because the, the rest of it, the flowers are just the decoration part. As long as you get the, the fun fold part done or the designer paper part done, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. Well, the funny thing is, you know what I did? I cut my card in half like I normally do for our card. Yeah. But I cut other pieces to your your measurements. Oh, and your cardstock's different size. Yeah, it is. Oh, Just dear. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit different because I know this front is a bit short, but that's okay. <laughs> I had the long, middle piece long. Because I didn't cut it, you see the six inch piece. Uh -huh. I'd already cut them, so they were already like it was still six inches. You know what I'm I mean? Sorry, that was bad of me to not no, say no. that it's imperial measurement. Well, I knew that, and I could have, if I had, if I'd taken the time, I would have been able to change it. But I didn't take the time to do that. But that's all right because it'll work. It'll be different. It's just another opportunity for creativity. That's, That's right. right. Oh. Whoops. Hmm. I'm hoping to do a couple of lives from the beach in Tofino if the weather cooperates. Mm. Go down and sit on my rock. Because I have a rock. You have a rock. I have a rock. Is it the one that's out in the water? <laughs> nope. No, nope. it's down the other end of the beach from oh. where we camp. And last time we were there, somebody had the audacity to be sitting on my on my rock. Oh no, that's like, get off my rock. <laughs> how dare they? I know, how rude. That's been my rock since for the past well, when did Ted start going out there? 2007. So that's 15, 
15 years, it's been my rock. Now somebody sat on it. And somebody sat on it. Not good. Just rude. There is no gorgeous great um, blend, is there? Nope. What there you, is not. What am I supposed to use instead? <laughs> <sighs> what colors do you think they're going to take out? Uh, so saffron, Pacific Good. Point. Mm. Oh, really? Pacific Point? Well, that's okay, because we've got uh, Orchid Oasis, and I love it. Yeah, but we only have Orchid Oasis for another year. Oh my goodness. I'll really miss so saffron if they take it out. Will you? I don't yeah. use it a lot. I was just looking at the package of paper thinking I best order another package because I'm down to about four sheets of it left. Oh. Wonder. What other color? The blue uh, the saffron, the yellow saffron, yeah, and the Pacific point. Yep. What else do you think is going to go? Oh, well, let me have a look. Shaded spruce, maybe. No, no, not that one. Um, I'm hoping petal pink goes away and we get a real pink. I <laughs> hate petal pink. It would be so nice to have a nice, soft, like true baby pink. I agree with you. Yeah. No. Is Linda? Linda? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. That's okay. Was... Have they announced that we are getting a color refresh? Not officially, no. But yeah, it seems like it's time, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I will be honest with you. I don't have all the colors uh -huh. in, the, in the ink pads because I don't do a lot of inking with anything other than black. Uh, mm. So I just get the colors I like in the inks, but I get the cardstock in all the colors. Nice. And I probably will not stock up on a lot when they do the color refresh because I always find that when they do the color refresh, the new colors work just as well and they're the ones I use. And those are the ones that they put in the designer papers and stuff. So, yep. Yeah, I don't stock up on them either. Well, um, I may get in trouble if I admit this. Will I get in trouble if I admit this? No. Nope. Um, I don't necessarily need things to match. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to look good together. Like there's certain greens you wouldn't put together because once One's more of a yellowy green and one's more of a bluey green and they clash. Right. You know? Yeah. They don't have to match for me. I'm not one. Of, uh, that's never been a big thing for me. You're not Martha Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. That's no, I was going to say, I'm with you. As long as the colors go together, that they're soothing together. Yeah, exactly. Like I say, there's there's certain blues you wouldn't want to put together because they wouldn't, you know. Yeah. They would they would look wrong, they would look really bad together. But there's oh. other ones that I would per be perfectly fine to use one instead of the other if I didn't have it. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Well, I started out with stamping up and I said to my sister-in-law who was there at the time and we kind of got into it together I said to her I will never be Martha Stewart I don't want to have everything matchy matchy yeah that didn't last very long yeah <laughs> <laughs> now I miss matchy matchy and if things don't match I get really upset <laughs> oh the other thing I heard is so are we going back to celebration only being once a year? Yes. Okay, so no celebration in the summer? Nope. Okay. When it's done in two days, it's done till next year. Okay. 
No, I'm okay with that. Me too. I always kind of thought it was a bit much. Well, it's a good thing that Stamping Up tries all this stuff. Oh, absolutely. And, and then they learn whether it's good or whether it's not good. So, oh, still need it. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. In the wrong box. Okay. I think I have all my pieces. How is everybody doing? Have you got close to all your pieces yet? I just have a big mess. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. Mine is so totally different or is going to be so totally different from yours. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, so if you, if you put your front, like do a dry run with your front and you decide that the opening is not big enough, just cut some of the edge off of one or both of the pieces. I probably should have done that, but I haven't. Oh, okay. Oh, well. And because my, my, I bought a quarter pack of this and I haven't really used it, but I cut it up first to get, um, I don't know, a three by three section so I could have a section on a sheet so I knew what was in the pack. Yeah. So Glenda, you're uh, putting back to the card base. Oh. Right onto the card base. Yeah. Right out to the edges on the card base. Thank you. And because of that it only left me with a three a three inch piece, three yep. by six piece. And which is what I'm using. Ah. And I never bought the dies or the stamps to match. So I'm sort of trying to cut it out, but it's, a, I think I'm going to have to cut it across the top there and, and, and not worry about the, the, the plants that are in it. Yep. I never bought any more of this. So I don't know. It's nice, but you get too many nice things. And what are you supposed to, you know? <laughs> but I do like that, that pack that you used, first of all. That was beautiful. I actually bought, oh, I actually got two packets of that, that dandy. Oh, the dandy design one? Yes, yeah, so I got two packets of that. And because they're such big packets. Yep. I'm trying to decide on my last celebration order for tomorrow. Oh. Get dandy designs. Oh, I've I got it already. Oh, good. No, I haven't even figured out what I'm going to order for my 60. I keep oh. <laughs> looking at the, at the ice cream set. Yep. And the problem is, to me, I find myself thinking, can I use some of these sentiments, like the one that you're the cherry on top and you make life sweeter. Yep. Could you use those just for a niece and nephew? Of course. Okay. Cause I think of them as Valentine's Eve. Yeah. You know, they can be any time you need a card, even if you're just going to send it to say hi, you can okay. still use those sentiments. Okay. I, I just, I'm never sure what some of the sentiments, if they're too, they're too romantic, you know? Yeah. <laughs> When I send cards, I don't care what the sentiment is. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> when I send a thank you card, it could be thinking of you or deepest sympathy. Yeah. Fair enough. But the, 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 those are, are okay, but some of them are a bit sloppy if you... <laughs> Agreed. I just can't and my think thing of... is, I like to try to use all of my stamps when I buy the set. Yeah. yeah. So if I, if I'm thinking I'm never going to use the sentiments, then I'll, then sometimes I'll talk myself out of the whole set. Oh. Once in a while, it depends. You know. Sometimes I don't use the sentiments, but I tell you what, I've lost one out of the um 
oh, one of the floral bundles and it was a really nice saying. I really liked it. Oh, I, that sucks. I, well, I never did find that um, Christmas sentiment that I lost. Oh, I no. No idea where that one went. Yeah, well, I think this one must have gone because it was, it's quite, it's not small, it's not the biggest one, but it's, you know, yeah. it's a decent size. I thought I'd left it in a, on a block and, and might have thrown it into one of the kits, you know, just when I was doing it. Uh huh. But it's not, I can't find it. Kathy sent me a message that says, Glenda, you just blew to get a flower in behind your DSP strip. So guess what I'm doing? <laughs> I have to remove my cardstock and find my flower that I glued in behind my DSP it's strip. It's probably not on the side. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy, for noticing that. There it is. Look. <laughs> oh, now God. You wondered where that was, wouldn't you? I was just looking for it, actually. Because it's the next thing I need to deal with. Okay, we'll just put my card back together now. I swear to God, things run away from me when I'm not looking. Yep. Now I'm looking for my dimensionals. Good thing I got more. That goes with that. That goes with that. That goes with that. Yeah, okay, I have a song going through my head now. <laughs> We're having fun sitting in the back seat, hugging in a kissing with Fred. Oh my goodness. That's an oldie. That's an oldie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lucky Fred. My mom used to call my husband Fred all the time. Mm -hmm. We used to have a farrier. His name was Fred. When mom was in dementia, she got them mixed up. So she used to call Ted Fred all the time. Mm And then she would call my sister's husband, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your husband's name? Yep. Yeah. Mine's Ted. At least she knew the names. Yeah. Just got the mix. <laughs> now. There must still be some liner on the end of yep. There we go. Okay. Now these are going to go on here. They're going to be popped up. Then I have little teeny tiny ones that are going to kind of fill in. So Oh, Valerie, I didn't see your comment about my wee flower being stuck behind there, too. I'm glad you guys have got my back. Because, you know, I would have been hunting for that thing forever. But I ended up cutting out a new one. All right. 
Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh. It does. Kathy says it proves they're watching and paying attention. Mm -hmm. Good thing somebody is, because apparently I'm not. I don't like that one. You're going in the garbage. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, Kathy said, I don't have sentimental park. I think I'm going to try the flame framed florets. That would be pretty. Definitely work. I use sentimental park because I got it and I never used it for anything. I, I didn't get the stamps. I just got the dies. Hmm. Because I like, I like these. That one. Yeah, this one. I haven't I used them yet. It. Haven't you? I haven't bought them either, but I'd like to. <laughs> Would it be nice if we could buy everything? Yeah, mm. but then I look and think, oh, gee, I've got a couple here that I haven't used. <laughs> And like this paper that I've, I've got here that I'm using today, like this particular one, I've never used it before. Oh, good. I love people that have self-control. I could learn from them. <laughs> you couldn't learn from me then, Julie. No, from I'm terrible. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I buy lots of stuff. Yeah. Ah, uh, life's too short. Agreed. That's yeah, I get my age. You know, I, I've worked all my life. I've worked for what? So I can have fun. To, so I have fun now. That's why. Yep. And if Do you I think can't, these well, ones that they've put in this um, magazine that's going out in April? Do you think they'll put any of those over into the um into the, the annual? The, yeah. Yes. I don't know what, but I'm hoping. What are you hoping for? <laughs> I am hoping that playing in the rain, but I have a feeling that it's been too popular, so they won't do that one. And um, what was the other one that I really, really like? Seaside Bay. Yeah, I like that one. Just my luck that Seaside Bay makes the new catalog. I've already bought it. Well, my <laughs> daughter bought it. <laughs> well, that's I cool love it. 
you'd know that it's in in for 12 months. So yeah, that would be benefit. fun. Another year to play with it would be amazing. Yes. Well, I, I made another made I made a card, another card with it today, and I like it just as much as I like all the other ones that I've made with it. One of the reasons I never became a demo, I had a couple of reasons I never became a demo. Three, probably. One, I'm not as good at, I don't have the confidence and the network. Two, all of my other, I had other friends who were demos. But three is, if I were to be a serious demo, the whole thing about once it retires, you can't, you don't really can't use it for classes and stuff. Yeah. And tend to get rid of it that drove me crazy uh i know i can't get rid of anything either yeah and it, it, i mean if i like it to, enough to buy it unless i really bought it on impulse then i want to keep it mm -hmm. and use it whenever i want that's mm -hmm. why you become a happy stamper like me <laughs> i'm a yeah. demo but i don't have to worry about any of that stuff <laughs> oh right because you've got the you just do it for the discount. Yeah, exactly. And I thought about that. And I may still do that at some point. Well, you save money. Yep. yep. You should do it this time because this is a really good buy at the moment. I haven't seen Stampin', I have not seen Celebration at this level in the 15 years I've been here that like it's uh, nine in Canada it's $90 90 something dollars never been that high before ever what do you mean by that $90 for stamping well it's 225 and you only pay 135 so you're getting $90 worth of stuff for free yeah right yeah and it's usually between 40 and 50 is the most I've ever seen it. That is very true. Or if you haven't got the, the um, embossing folder, this uh, embossing machine, you can get that. And it's like 40, well here it's $40 extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. you know, so that's, that's cheap instead of, it's, here it's $110 to buy it. Uh. Yeah. Well, that's a good deal, isn't it? Absolutely. Kathy yeah. says she's a hobby demonstrator. She keeps it all and enjoys it all. Yeah. Me, me too. I'm and stuck have, with my paper. Two embossing machines, one here and one at Terry's, because when I go to Terry's to do cards, I need my own embosser. <laughs> I might have more than one, but then I use them in class. So. Yeah, that's. I different. have an excuse. I don't, other than, and besides, I don't want to carry mine over there. That's too heavy. Yeah, it's true. Well, I've got more than one, and I haven't done any classes or anything like that. <laughs> Crazy us. Oh, yeah. dear. Well, I'm really enjoying these classes, Linda. Don't stop, eh? No. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm going to be stopping for a, a while in March. Oh, well, we know that, but you're coming back. Okay. That's the I name. Am. That's the wait, name. Wait, wait, what have I missed? What's happening in March? <laughs> we going. are on holidays for most of March. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're going camping on Wednesday for 10 days. And mm -hmm. then we're home for five. And then we're heading to northern BC to see our northern grandchildren for a week. Nice. That's then wonderful. I come home and rest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be worn out. No. Oh yeah, grandkids can wear you out. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. I can imagine. They told me I have to bring my have to bring my skates because apparently we're going skating. Well, that would be Aww. so fun. I haven't skated in many years, but I used to. Well, our northern grandson 
took cans is taking can skate this year. Oh yeah. And he it started out he was falling all over the place. Well, that only lasted two times, and now it's like he's Wayne Gretzky out there. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it doesn't take long for them to learn and gain self esteem or self confidence. I should say. It's true. A bit of both, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now hmm. that's going to be interesting. I don't know where I'm going to put the sentiment. Hmm. Well, what would be interesting is me finding something to cut this up with. Oh, put some blue underneath there. Oh, my Tombow is exploding. Oh no! Catch it quick. Must be almost empty. They do that, I decided, when they're almost empty. I don't think this one's almost empty. I have to keep shaking it. Mm. Lucky I bought a couple more. Hmm. Do you store it with the tip down, Dimity? Yeah, I do. Normally I do. this When I'm using them, I do. Uh huh. Do you have something like this in Australia? Um, have these showed no, up I've over seen, there yet? I've seen I've seen people with them. Like, I think people must have had them at the uh, Sydney, or I've seen okay. them. Okay, but I haven't got one. No. Yeah, they're just printed on a three D printer. Sherry's husband actually makes them. I got oh, this. Just and it's for nail polish and it works like a charm. Oh yeah. Blue. Look at that. It's perfect in there. Love it. Nice. Mm -hmm. I got them online. In a week. Lost my envelope. Just... Oh. All right. Okay. Bless you. Thank you. Hey, it's not me sneezing this time. Ah! Oh, oh no, that's right. Thought I put it on the wrong side of my envelope. I don't sneeze as much when I make cards as I do when I'm quilting. I'm allergic to dust, believe it or not. Oh. A lot of people are. Mm -hmm. Well, you won't do very well in my house then. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cleaning lady that dusts for me, and I just thank God for that. Everybody over there on Facebook is saying, bless you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> my dog sheds so much fur, it's not funny. So you get mm. mountains and mountains of fur. Oh, what and kind of dog? What kind of dog is a it? A German Shepherd. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, and because you clean, wash the floors, and you think well, it's a waste of time because you, the minute the dog or yourself <laughs> go back the door and come back in, you bring muddy steps back in. Yep. <laughs> you Don't you love them? The Wash the dog's feet. <laughs> no, the bee has, it's too big for us. To, it rushes past. Oh, actually, it doesn't go outside until it's really desperate. When it's when it's really wet, like now, mm -hmm. he won't go outside until he's really desperate to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just about sends you flying so he can get out the door in time. Ah. <laughs> And we let the chooks out and they, 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 you can see the rooster, he, he walks along and he's shaking his foot, you know, to get the, the water off his feet. <laughs> so funny. I love that word, chook. <laughs> we, have a, we have a restaurant in town that's uh, an Australian restaurant and they serve chook burgers. <laughs> Chook 
And that's what they call them, chook, not chuck. <laughs> yep, they call them chook, chooks. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord, I don't like this. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I, I don't like, I just don't like something about this. I gotta make this smaller. I swear there's gremlins in the house. <laughs> Are you losing stuff too? Oh my God. Like, oh, there it is. And it's a large item. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still are. trying to figure out. I'd want a packet, a new packet of that um, rain or shine paper. Yeah. I can't find it anywhere. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. And I've been looking for it. And I think I know I bought it. I know I had it. I go back through the list and I think, yes, I had did buy it. It's got my imagination. Hmm. Oops, how about I didn't cut it? Oh well, it is what it is. That's right. It's so it if it's the smaller items, I can say that the grandchildren have taken them home. <laughs> well, actually, I bought some um, alcohol pens, uh, a bundle of them, a whole heap of them, and and. My granddaughter picked them up and walked out the door and she had them under her arm. She said, thanks, Grandma. I'll see you later. <laughs> does, she she like, does she like to paint and do stuff like that? She loves drawing. She's very good. She's oh, very wow. good at drawing and colouring. Loves colouring. and mm -hmm. Oh. How are you doing? Are we just about done? Yep, I'm as, as I'm going to be. Okay, then we'll do show and tell then. I'm going to remove my spotlight. All the envelope, now I've lost oh, it. Oh, dear. Norma? No. Oh. I'm just going as the people are showed up. Oh, oh uh, cute. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. You know, oh, I, like, I didn't think I liked that paper, but you know what? I like that paper. <laughs> Julie, I know. here we go again. I got two days to order right before the end. Sure. Are you going to show us your card? Oh, you want to see my card? Well, there it is. <laughs> That'd be cute. It's what it is. <laughs> it's color and contour inside. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Janet. Nice. Oh, very nice. elegant. Put it over a little bit. Oh, yeah, there that's we go. That's lovely. Oh, I love it. Oh, very nice. Right. And then I did that on the inside. Ooh, that's pretty. Beautiful. Lovely. Donna? Oh, um. oh nice. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. Well, that's a nice idea. Yeah, lovely. And then on the inside, I just put one flower. Nice. Yep. Thank you. All right. Marilyn is leaving us and she said goodbye to everybody. Good night, Marilyn. Good night. Good night. Holly. Because Marilyn is two hours ahead of us. Oh, that's oh, cute. Nice. That's lovely. You used so saffron. Um, this one, I believe, is Daffodil Delight. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. Nice. The first okay. one was so saffron. <laughs> Pat? I cheated. I don't have the dyes. But that's okay. Or the again, worse too. But hey, I, that's designer paper. Yep. That's Very what nice. it's all about. Be Carolyn? 
Oh, oh, pansies. Oh, pansies. Nice. Patch. Whoa. Oh. Nothing on the inside yet. <laughs> it's That's okay. It. Yeah. That's lovely. Thank you. Dimity. Okay, well, I haven't got my sentiment on it or any. Oh, cute. Any oh, oh look guys. at all the teacups. That's awesome. Oh, nice. And then inside, I put. Oh. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Yep. So I'll finish that one off later. Wendy, mm -hmm. did you create? You're muted, but I can see your I can see your head going no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, ladies, for sharing your cards. Okay, so we're gonna move on and it's like 8 30 already so we've been an hour and a half so i'm going to show you a technique to make four cards but you don't have to finish them all because they're all the same sort of and i haven't built these cards yet i don't know what i'm going to do with them so i may not finish them off see i used the i used the seaside bay mm -hmm. so it's a, a technique called the stack and shuffle so you make you cut i don't know why i have an extra one in here you cut designer paper six by six sheets and then you swap them around and use them in different places on your cards. And you can use, use all the same sides or you can flip them over depending on what size you have. So you're mm. going to need four pieces, no, two pieces of designer paper. Two pieces for each one. Two six by six pieces of designer paper. And they have to go together, don't they? Sort of. Now is it <laughs> two? Your instructions say four. Okay. That's what I thought. I just, I've cut them already. See, I thought they were uh, for four different cards, like. Me too. Me too. Well, they are, aren't they? So yeah, no, I but I use four different uh, card base colors and stuff. So, so I'm just gonna watch now. Me too. So there. So you've got. Um, I've just used the same ones, but I just flipped them over. So I'm going to cut them this way. So you need your paper trimmer. Two, well, this has two sides, but it's a paper trimmer. So I'll show you the cards while you're getting that out. I'm small on your screen, Valerie, then swipe me to the left because I'm, I am spotlit. So you must be on gallery view. Okay, so the, I use the Seaside Bay Suite. Oh, it's called by the bay or I don't know what it's called. So there's one. This one I put this way. This one I put this way. And this is all the, the same papers, just different sides of them. And they all have the same size papers. Okay. So I'm going to cut two at once just to save on time. So you're going to cut it. I will show you. There's my little graphic. So you're going to cut it. First now, of all, you cut them down to five by three and three quarters. Can they be directional or no? I don't think it really matters because 
if you look at this one, that one is directional. But if it doesn't work, then just flip it over and use the other side of it. Well, I'm trying to use bicycles. So, ah, yeah. So cut it down to five. Five by three and three quarters. So if you cut the five first, then you've got a nice one in, or sorry, the three and three quarters first, then you have a nice size leftover piece to use. Mm -hmm. And then cut the five on the other end. Okay. Hang on, get that again. Cut the three quarters first, did you say? Cut three and three quarters first. Three and three quarters, okay. And then turn it around and cut them to five. Cut them to five, you said? Five, yep. <laughs> Valerie, this set is available in two days. You're gonna need it. I think everybody needs this irresistible blue. Oh, it's lovely, it's beautiful. Okay, now we're going to cut that down and we're going to have, hang on. It's not focusing, there you go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to cut is line it up at two and a half inches and cut at two and a half. Oh, the seaside. Oh, you need them both. You need them both, Valerie. Marlene, you need to tell people not to bother you when you're doing important stuff. Okay, now take this one, the big one. That's the two and a half inch one. Flip it sideways and cut it in half at three inches. Not in half, sorry. Cut it at three inches. So now you have, you have this. You might have that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and do we so, do that to two more pieces, do we? Well, we'll cut this one first and then we'll put this one aside and we'll do the other one. So now you've got this strip, you stick it in and cut it at two inches. So there. How wide is that one top one again? This how, one? How tall? How tall? It's five yeah, just, inches. Five yeah. inches. Five I don't inches know how wide. I don't know how wide it is. Hang on. Because it's whatever's left out oh. left over after you cut two and a half off of it. Okay. So it's like one and one and a quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter. Three and three quarters minus two and a half is one and a quarter. Woo, you're making me do math. Okay, then pick those pieces up, put them off to the side and we'll do the second set. Cut it at three and three quarters of an inch. What do you think is that one now? At a time. Are you cutting two at a time? I'm, I am, yeah. Most paper trimmers will do two pieces of designer paper at a time. And then turn it around and cut it at five. Uh, sorry. Okay. I'm trying to find another bit of paper to go in. I was looking for the one with the, the birds on it, but I can't find that. I probably already <laughs> out. Unless, of course, I've used it all. Okay. All right, so what was the first one? Five and... Three and three quarters. Um... So cut three it at three and three quarters. Cut it at three and three quarters. Then twist it and cut it at five. Then
then flip it back so that it's a hot dog again and cut it at two and a half. And then take that piece and turn it and cut it at three. <coughs> Oops. Okay, I got lost. <laughs> we got three and three and three, three quarters. Three and three quarters by five. Yeah. Okay, then you take it this way. Yeah. And cut it at two and a half. Okay. And then turn it this way and cut it at three. Okay, then you take the long skinny one and cut it at two. The long, the long skinny one, cut it at two. Yeah. <laughs> so you should have those pieces again. And then stack your pieces on top of each other. From both? Yep. <laughs> okay. I gotta take a picture of this one, boy. Is this video gonna be on in your videos? Yeah, it's streaming to my VIP group, so it'll be there forever. Thank God. <laughs> okay, I'm going to layer mine onto basic white and then I'm going to put them on 30 flamingo card bases. And you can do them hot dog or hamburger. Depends on which, what designer paper you use and what it, where you're going to use it. So the pieces are all the same, but they don't have to go in the same spot. So if you pick up the big one, then you can put them whichever way you want, but do a dry run first so you don't get them all mixed up. And I just did. <coughs> You've got to go this way. Sorry. There. Then you take the next size and you shuffle them. So instead of putting that there, I'm going to put it here. And then this one I'll put there. And that one I'll put there. And this one. I'll put there. Oops. Now you've got this size. So this one is not on this card yet. So I'm going to put it on there. And then, was there a question? I said, slow down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I move too fast. Oh, you know that? Slow down. Okay. You move too fast. There's another song going through my head that I can't sing because Facebook will not let you penalize me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't want those two. I want that one there. This one here. And I want that one there. Okay. And then you got the last piece. So now you just figure out which of these cards, these pieces have not been on yet. <laughs> okay. 
there. It's really quite easy. Sure. Uh -huh. It yeah. is. Sure. Honest to God, it is. Sure. Well, it's so, coming. If you've got ones that have patterns that need to go in the same direction, then just move it around. But once you figure out which pieces go on which card, then you can refine it and kind of move things around a bit. Well, my ranunculuses are, are going to both be portrait instead of landscape. So too bad. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you just put them on. Mm -hmm. The hardest part is figuring out which pieces of designer paper go where. Well, we already get. Go ahead. Once you figure that out, then it's the card is pretty well puts itself together. Mm hmm. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yay. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> it was pure whatever. Can't it's not pure is. luck. It's not pure luck. <laughs> it's talent. Oh my God, that's so neat. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Look Good at night. your video. <laughs> <laughs> nice joining the group. Bye-bye. Bye, Pat. Bye. 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 <laughs> now, somehow, I have to figure out Oh, I put that one upside down. Oh, well, I guess the other one's going to be opposite. Okay. 
Oh, good night, Cassie. Lynn says she used this layout for Christmas cards. Hmm. That's awesome. Mimi grabbed her Christmas paper and I thought, oh, I'm not. <laughs> oh. Well, you could get ahead for idea. next year. You could get ahead for next year. With my lovely. I actually did want to make some Christmas cards and I've got some paper I want to use up a half pack of six by six this is exactly what I'm going to do with it nice because I like it too much to get rid of it like give it away but I'm yeah. not really sure what else I want to do with it so it's just <laughs> time to hmm. still this time is... to give it some love give it some new love Now, Tanya, where do you live? And then I'm out. Oh, okay. Nice and close. So not that far from you. You're up in Campbell River, Alberni. right? Port Alberni. Port Alberni, okay. Yeah. And you know my friend, uh, I've lost her. Madeline. Yes. Yeah. And you probably know Laura too. Laura Bu Buchler? Yep. Yep. We're all one big happy family. You are. <laughs> but one of the things I do like about Stampin' Up! is that they do try to respect, you know, that if people already have a demo, you know? Yep. We share. You share. Ta -da. Wow. Now, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> that is really pretty. This paper is awesome, man. Can you, and which paper was that again? This is the Hello Irresistible. Oh, that's the new one coming. That's the new one coming, yeah. Yeah. I made a little I've purse out of one. Peaks in people's blogs. And I swear I saw Lost Lagoon. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. coming back. Yay! So that must mean all of it, right? The the ink, the paper, the Well, I can't I can't say that for sure, but I can't imagine them putting in, in designer paper and not giving us the inks and stuff for it. Yeah, that makes no sense to me, given the way, yeah. Pretty Peacock is coming back. I love Pretty Peacock and I love Lost Lagoon. And Boho Blue is coming back. That was okay. before. Sorry, ladies, but I have to go and get the children. Well, thanks for joining us, Dimity. It was lovely chatting with you. Yes, you too. Have I'll a good you. day. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Uh, How much longer do you think you're going to be on here for? Oh, not much. I'm just going to put these. Um, I'm not going to make these into cards. I'm just going to put the fronts on so that everybody can see what they look like. Because it's been almost, it's been two hours. So I think that's enough of me. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Well, I'm off too here. Uh, good night and uh, thanks for all the inspiration. You're welcome, Don. It was nice chatting with you again. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Can you turn that one over again? Oh, you can't because you've got the sticky on it. Yep, I will. Hang on. Oh, Kathy's not leaving. Kathy was just saying goodbye to Pat. <laughs> That's all right. I... There we are. Beautiful. Thank Three. you.
It's very strange hearing that she has to go pick up the children from school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's like bedtime here. Yeah. And it's Sunday. But I guess it's already Monday. Yeah, yeah. it's Monday, 2.30 p.m. here. <laughs> wow. Those are lovely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. It's all the paper. Like. I'm going to need that paper pack. Yep. I think everybody needs to get it, but I wouldn't wait too long if you want it because this stuff is only while supplies last. Oh, Glenda. Yes. What is, I, what's the date for that class that I signed up for the other day with that uh, irresistible thing? Is there April. 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 Oh. April. Hang on. Where did I put my, my thing? Oh, Wait, oh, there it is. <laughs> I've piled crap on top of it. There, this one. Irresistible Blooms, April the 19th. April 19th, and it's at 6.30. It's at 6.30. Okay. I'll have to send you some money for that. And we're going to be using this sweet. And I get the paper and the the little you get, things. You get the paper and the loose flower yeah. flourishes. I'm so anxious for that to happen. Oh, there, I was trying to find them. So you get a pack of paper and mm -hmm. you get a package of container of the loose flower flourishes. Oh, yes. Now, these are going to be really cool. And I haven't made a shaker card yet, but really cool in a shaker card. But if you want them to be self-adhesive, get box. a strip of window sheet, mm -hmm. put dots of Tombow on it, let the Tombow dry Ooh. till it's clear, then put your loose flower flourishes on each dot and they become self-adhesive. That's fantastic. What a great tip. I thought it was, I thought we were going to use um, the glue dots, but that's a lot easier. Uh, yeah, the glue dots actually will oh, show. Yeah. Oh, Carolyn good. had to leave. So she said, thank you. Have an awesome vacation and hope the weather cooperates. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. It can do whatever it wants. The meaner the weather is out there, the less people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's we're going to be there regardless. Okay, I'm a little confused. I thought that this Irresistible Blooms was part of their new online only stuff or something. It is. Oh, it's it's they're called online exclusives. Yes, because they are only available to look at online. They're right. not going to be published in any of our catalogs. Right. And they are only around while supplies last they're not oh, guaranteed I, I thought they were year round like they no nope, were... no they're only guarantee they're not guaranteeing them for any length of time when they run out they run out and have they gone live yet march the first okay and kathy you're right the paper is lovely do you have a pack there i do i will get it and i will show you Thank so you. i just want to explain Three kits or cards for kits for these three cards plus the paper and the dots for 45 or get the bundle, the paper and the dots or tutorial only. And if you're part of my monthly tutorial subscription, then you get a tutorial for the fourth card. Mm. Monthly tutorial subscription. What's that? That is my my monthly tutorial subscription. <laughs> that just it's fifteen dollars a month. It's tutorials only. There's no oh. there's no product included. No card kits, and there's a minimum three month sign up. But the, if you, sorry, go ahead. Does the tutorial come with instructions? It's a it's the same tutorial that you get with my classes. Oh, okay. Only it has four cards instead of three. Mm -hmm. So okay. subscribers get a bonus card each month. And then if you want, if you want to 
upgrade. If you're part of the monthly tutorial, it's $15. If you want to upgrade to take the class and get the card kits, then I deduct the cost of your monthly tutorial off of the price of the class. Oh. Because there's no use you paying for it twice. I so agree. if you pay $15 for your monthly tutorial subscription and you want to get the kits and the paper and the dots, then it's only $30 extra. It's not $45. Oh. Kathy, you can definitely up. Great. And how often are these, are you going to have these classes? Once a month. Holy jumpings. I do it once a month. Okay. Okay, Kathy, I am writing you down. Uh, oops, if I can write it. Upgrade to kits. Got it. I will be in touch, Kathy. Thank you. Okay, so the paper. I have the paper. I might have more than one package of paper. Ooh. <laughs> and it's six by six? Six by six. Beautiful. And you get, you get four of each sheet. So there's this sheet. Oh, that's pretty. No, that pretty? leave the paper alone. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bailey's being a brat. Bailey. Bad Bailey. And no, then there's Tommy. <laughs> so on this one, the dies cut these out. They cut out that, they cut out that, and they cut out that. Nice. So you don't have to fussy cut. Then on this sheet, the dies cut out that and that and that. Nice. And then there's this sheet. They're oh, so saffron in there. Uh -oh. And the dies cut out that and that and that. Mm. So what they've done is one side. Thanks, Kathy. One side has the white images on it. The other side is exactly the same. So there it is. It's exactly the same. So if you run out of these, you can white emboss on this and you'll get exactly the same look. Mm -hmm. Or you just use the dies, cut this out, and you get, it looks like embossing when it's really not. <laughs> and then there's this sheet. This is one of my favorites. I just love this. Mm -hmm. And there's the other side of that. So it's got a bit of a pattern on that side. Oh, that's pretty. Then there's soft, so, Soft sea foam. The brain mm -hmm. has got to catch up to the mouth here. Oh, wow. And this one's got dots on it. That looks pretty. Oh. And then there's this gorgeous one. Which is That's... pretty peacock. Now, yeah. somebody used this in their card. Norma did. did. Norma did, yes. See? That's my favorite sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They and then this one I has really got... like pretty peacock. <laughs> Yes, that's it's a gorgeous color. I was sad when that one left. Mm -hmm. And okay. then there's this sheet, which is the same as the other sheet in pattern, but it's got different colors in it. And then the other side has got this subtle pattern on the back of it. And once again, these are all cut out with the dies. Oh, I'm going to need this. Absolutely. Oh. Then there's that one. You had me at dots, like just to see the fact that there's dots that we get. I'll show you the stamp set and the dies too. Thank you. Okay, so here's that. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. And yes, the dies cut these out too, but why would you waste it? <laughs> and then there's this one. And I keep seeing that one with the um, Aspen dies oh yes, three yeah. dies oh mm -hmm. yep <laughs> makes it's a lovely winter yes. winter um yes. sky the feet, the i word. was to say it's a tofino storm sky <laughs> it is <laughs> there we go there's that one i love that one 
Me too. Yeah. And then the last one is that. Yeah, love that one too. Yeah. Now, where did it? Put? Okay, so then there's the stamp set. So there's a, the same patterns or images as it's on the designer paper. Exactly the same. Come on. Of course, it's not showing because, you know, they're all gone. There we go. There we go. So exactly the same patterns, which is why the dyes will cut them out. And it's got blotches. I love blotches. And then these are the dies. <coughs> so this one cuts out this. Nice, pretty. And then I use that as like a wreath. I just use my um, sh my scissors and cut it off right along there. Now, if you have the, what's it called? Give it a whirl. You know, the one that twists, it has the, um, you can do a hat or something yeah. and it goes around in a circle and there's a little window. If you have that one, the big scallop circle will cut that out. And then this die cuts this out. That's pretty. Wow. That gorgeous? Now I'm going to tell you, if you are cutting these, put adhesive sheets on the back of them. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be cursing like I did. Yep. And then there's the, the dies that cut out the flowers and the dies that cut out the leaves. And then there's a couple of, there's a few standalone leaves as well. No. So, Wait, Glenn, I have another question. Yep. Your dies, you have them on magnetic sheets, don't you? Yep. Where do you get your magnetic sheets? Uh, what's it called? Dollar Tree? Is it Dollar oh. Tree, Janet? The one that's beside Canadian Tire? Thanks. So. Oh, in the night? Yeah. No, no, in, in port. Okay, but we probably have, I think we have one too. Dollar Tree, hey? Yeah, I think that's the one that was up by uh, where... Cabela's is wasn't yeah, that Dollar sure. Tree that big one? It's moved yep. though, hasn't it? Yeah, don't know. I'll find it. Is there a particular brand or? Um, no. Well, I'll show you. Thank you, because I need more magnetic sheets and can't beat Dollar Tree prices. Don't let Glenda go in and get them first. Because <laughs> there's never any in our store. Because Glenda's right. Been there. I don't I haven't bought them for three years because I'm recycling mine. When I sell my dyes, they don't get the magnetic sheets. So this is what they look like. How much do they charge for that? Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five for all of their stuff, and there's one sheet in there. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. And there's how many sheets? Just one. One, and then That's you have to cut them down because they're too they're too long. Mm -hmm. And That's I okay. usually cut them down. Sometimes you have to cut them down widthwise too to get them in there. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna look for those. And there's there's two weights of them, and I like the heavy ones. Mm -hmm. But if you can't get the heavy ones, get the light ones. They're all they all have adhesive on the back of them, and then just put it on a piece of cardboard. Okay. You can do it. So there we go. Kathy says. Dollar store in High River and Walmart. Well, our Walmart store doesn't carry them. I've no. never seen them in our Walmart. No, our Me Walmart either. store doesn't carry a lot of crafty stuff. Yeah, ours doesn't either. They sure don't anymore. It's like they're totally getting out of it or something. Yeah. Well, okay. Glenda, this has been lovely. Thank you. Do you, yes. do, do you go live every Sunday night? No. I go live Monday nights, Thursday nights, once a month, the last Sunday of the month, I do a free class. And once a month around the 20th, I go live and do the paper pumpkin kit. Okay. I'll try to join, see more of your lives. Oh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm not going to complete those cards because, you know, we've been here forever, but you've seen my, my seaside bay ones. Gorgeous. And they're the same layout. They're the same layout. Yep. Yes, thank you. They're awesome, Glenda. Yeah, you're welcome. Fun. Does anybody want to show there? Have the have you got your your bases done? Do you want to show your bases? 
Hang on. I've, I've got okay. mine done. Julie is holding hers up. Oh, cute. Oh, nice. Nice. But I, I had a whole bunch of those cut out and I thought that'll work. It will work. It covers the mess of, of the corner, you know? <laughs> yep, it does. It was because I had chosen the um, purple paper as well for one of my cards, but that you used there, Julie, with the green. Oh, the ranunculus ones? Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Okay, Norma. Okay, there's two. There's two. Whoa. I love that paper. And Whoa. then there's the other two. Nice. Nice. Oh. Hmm. Makes me want to get that paper. Oh, uh, you don't have it? No. Oh, Julie, be still my heart. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lynn, over there on Facebook. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And please join us again. And you're very welcome, Kathy. Janet, your turn. Um, I did mine on all different colored. Well, that's okay. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Cool. They look good together, though. Yeah. Nice. Lovely. It's all the same. Um, well, I used the paper, same paper on all the cards. Yep. Yep. Wendy, did you do that? Nope. No. Holly, did you get yours done? I only did one because I used, um, had picked different paper. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. That looks neat. So I just I like used the one six by six and cut four pieces out of the same one. Nice. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate you being thank here. You. Thanks. And thank you. And over there on Facebook, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow night, eight o'clock, the last time for a while. Bye for now.